Alright, welcome back. Last time... Oh shoot, I don't actually remember all that much. Um, let's see here, uh, definitely grabbed institutions. Unless that was the previous time. Tacked up. Empire ideas. Ah, uh, I don't think I actually did any reforms. Okay. Oh, but definitely did some conquest. Got some of India, southern India, and a good portion of Indonesia, too. Most of Java is now under my control. Well, all of Java is under European control, or myself. Mostly myself. <laughs> right, I was in the process of getting you over to here. Actually, yeah, there is a strength. I just can't see it. Right. I'm also kind of sort of preparing for a... a scent. Um... Hmm. I mean, unlike Gujarat, I, I have no chance of turning you into a subject. To be honest, I prefer Gujarat. They make for a much better buffer against Iberian expansion. Quit asking me for room, I don't care. Okay, that's fine. For now, eventually I do have interests that will run counter to yours, but for now that's fine. Uh, and I do have some revolutionaries, but for the time being I'm ignoring them for, in the hopes that I eventually That they eventually overthrow the government and turn me into a revolutionary republic, because why not? That would be fun. So that Swahili stance sounds more like a, an actual country, you know, a revolutionary country rather than a monarchy. At least the name sounds more applicable in that matter. What now? One Indian ally, and it is Gujarat. Except no substitutes. Oh yeah. Probably should use the spy network of Malavar in order to get more claims in provinces that I would like to eventually conquer. The long term goals and all that. In all probability I'm going to be uh Trying to conquer provinces. Huh? Oh, yeah, right, right. So I think I'll be prepping up for a war with England. Yep, okay. Might be smart to pick up some of English Oman. The. or oh, English Arabia in general, because that looks awful. I want that to be gone. Or at least turn into the beautiful toothpaste of Swahili Stan. Because what can be better than the toothpaste color than I have? That would normally take a while, but um, siege ticks of six days makes that very, very fast. Good, another province. 
Lutheran. I grabbed it off of England again, didn't I? What is even is the Militech? 57. Jeez, I have a 50-50 chance of getting promises off of them. I should start sending stuff to the home countries. Well. To Great Britain. See what provinces I end up picking up. Would be funny to pick up London via expedition. <laughs> what you got there? <laughs> A treaty port. <laughs> okay, yeah, I still have plenty of room to grab. Okay, all of that might be a bit much. Sure, let's just cut it off. Why not? Swahili, Australasia. Excellent. That's when we Papua has gotten larger too. No, it's a passageway through that. Okay. Nah, it's imperialism, guess as well, so. I can do this sort of stuff without it being that big of a deal. Yeah, I'd say that's a good point to start. So! I'm six months away from the revolution. 
I mean, no one else has gotten revolutionary, so I may as well. Why? Why did I have to look up nodes? No one else has gotten revolutionary, so I might as well. Look what we have here. Scandinavian Scandinavia. Uh, of course your capital has to be somewhere ridiculous, right? Yep. Why do you have your capital in Wagrian? Why? I mean, sure, you probably have them in Copenhagen and then Bohemia beats you up. Somehow. I mean, you've got about the same number of troops, so... Must have been an interesting war, but... Well, I didn't see it, so... Yeah, no one's revolutionary. Hmm... Revolution... Revolution hasn't spread anywhere, so... I might as well get a little look and see what the mechanics are. It is 1815, so way way late for it, but it wasn't until now the revolutionaries started sieging down the capital, so as long as I don't go to war. And I don't plan on doing that for a while, anyway. Well, not in the next six months, anyway. Yeah. So, I've gone ahead and declared war on Moravi, who Rwanda was allied to, so that's the end of that alliance. And I'll slowly make my way into Rwanda territory. Might as well fill in as much of Africa as I can in the last... Yeah, at this point, there's only 40 years left. Lindu's also gone. I took them over real quickly. So, that was nice. That's why Healy Stand no longer is, you know, scratched down here. Now it's stretched across up here all the way properly. Although, I think this is going to be replaced by Revolutionaries for Healy Stand soon. Conquered more of Indonesia and southern India. I think Malabar should be ready to go soon. Ah, oh, meritocracy. I thought the Indian countries managed to embrace. <laughs> well, commercialization, which would be a uh, gateway for more reforms. But now there's Greg Sia, so. Thankfully. Yeah, Greg Sia are the revolutionaries before the revolution was cool. Could you imagine a revolutionary China in the, like, the 1600s? But they're specifically a rather aristocratic republic. At least as far as I can tell. Oh, they have fully centralized military. Oh, jeez. They are terrifying, aren't they? I mean, so do I, but... It's still fairly scary. I haven't done much internal stuff other than completely depoliticizing the bureaucracy. Because State Reach, well, all the new provinces on Gamkring are mostly rather tribal. Especially the ones in inland Africa, where there have been no efforts to centralize. In fact, I think the tribals have been... Oh, well, actually, the tribals are weakening slightly. What did you do, Wanda? Oh, they, we want bureaucracy ideas. Yeah, that can happen. <laughs> That's part of the reason why I went for them, actually. We Systematically weakening clan power yearly is nice. Even if it's slow, it at least gives you something to... So you can concede clan power gain without them actually gaining power. And you can turn around and use that for a massive buff that's actually more efficient. <laughs> yeah. Treasury is a bit wonky, but that's the penalty of having a strong tax service that's heavily affected by corruption. Any jump in corruption is going to cause your revenue to drop dramatically as a lot of cash gets lost. And most of my money goes into wages anyway. It's weird. <laughs> oh well, the country is stable. Ish. Ignore the revolutionaries. <laughs> Yeah, I'm about to go revolutionary, and... I also went to war with England, Grand Provinces, up to... Uh, Lobito. And, as well as some provinces, basically got them to give up their provinces in this area. So, the two provinces in Papua and these islands. And had them concede Australia, so... All of Australia is under my control. Oh, 
no, all of Australasia. Nova Zealand is considered part of Colonial Pacific, the Colonial Polynesia region, so. Still, I've got a massive Indonesia charter to work with. And now I've got... Well, I will have more control over this strait once things start to build up. It's just that there isn't much trade power here at the moment, because it takes time for the trade power to transfer properly. But I definitely have far more control over this area than I did previously, that's for sure. I do wonder when England's going to form Great Britain. They've been sitting on that for a while. Then again, they don't actually have much tech. The tech is falling... They're starting to fall behind in tech, which is weird, considering... I believe they have all the institutions. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, nine. They have nine institutions. Which one are they missing? Right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Casual literacy center from those academia national government just They're missing global trade, aren't they? It's between scientific methods and academia. Why are they missing global Oh yeah, global trade's really hard to get, that's right. And they don't have the money to embrace it apparently. Heck, it still hasn't properly spread across my country. Centralism is still having some difficulties, in fact. Which is strange. They're talking, yeah, which centralism doesn't get to every province. That's just how it is. Oh well. Yeah, by this point, I'm just waiting for the revolutionaries and all that. I mean, for once, I actually have reasonably good luck with the rulers. I you know, have great timing. Would have liked it have all that and republics are difficult to work with with an M&T because of well if you remember the Dismartian campaign I actually went straight for plutocracy and scholastic ideas no civic religion ideas for poor relief in order to get plus one yearly republican tradition because there was no other way to keep my republican tradition above 50 it was that bad I'm not sure if they fixed that and made Republican tradition easier to maintain? There's no way to really tell how much they have. Best interest, informants, corruption, corruption. I don't remember what Republican tradition affects. I don't think I have any visibility on Republican provinces anyway. Government types... Wait. Right, there's my subjects. Of which I can see the Republican tradition. They have 1.5. Mm -hmm. Well, minus 1.5. Okay, yeah, they all have fairly high Republican tradition. Sunni, Republican tradition, faction support, charge company, natural relationship, stability, corruption, government... Yeah, for the Millennial Service. <laughs> That's probably the thick of it. I guess it no longer lowers dramatically upon each succession. Or election, I should say. That would at least explain why they have it so close to the resting point. I mean, mine's nowhere near the resting point. There's reasons for that. <laughs> so presumably they fixed that. Okay, so Republicans should be much easier to handle. Sure, you're gonna need good ideas for it specifically ish. But, yeah. Anyway, I have gone on long enough. Oh, jeez, that was almost 10 minutes. Yep, I'll see you again next time. Until then, bye. <laughs>